Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Lyons. Um, I'm the principal architect for Moodle LMS. Uh, so we're currently uh, working on removing the legacy Tiny MCE plugin that's available in MDL 77308, which is up for review. We've also got uh, some changes to make Tiny MCE the default editor for new installs. So that will be in 75915. And we will make that the default editor for existing installs from Moodle 4.3 onwards. Um, I will be giving a demo in just a moment. Uh, we are, have also had a meeting with Tiny MCE themselves to discuss um, uh, premium integrations. One of the things that I've also been working on is improving our, the way that we do settings. And here is the demo. So um, for those, I'll give it a second for it to share. There we go. Um, so at the moment, we have a lot of different ways, and this is part of the Tiny MCE work, a lot of different ways of doing settings in Moodle. Um, so each of these tabs in my browser is a different settings page showing essentially the same thing, but with different columns, different column orders, different titles for the same columns. For example, we have hide and show. Sometimes we have, have order. Sometimes we have um, different links. So essentially, uh, as part of the tiny MCE work, we're trying to add the ability to control which plugins are enabled or disabled. And so to that effect, I have uh, been working on standardizing the way in which we show these pages. So uh, again, we have the activities page, uh, which looks identical, but is now using the same um, code, and the same underlying code, the same table, um, reducing a whole load of code duplication, but also reducing the uh, differences between each instance. We still have places where there are custom um, columns or where columns are not relevant, for example, some plugins cannot be enabled or disabled, and some cannot have their order changed. The other thing uh, which this uh, change brings about is uh, JavaScript-based editing. So every time we want to change a plugin, uh, we can do so with, and it will reload just this one page um, and just the table inside it. That also applies for the order of plugins. Uh, and it also applies to things like custom features like the block uh, has the ability to um, lock individual things and we can apply that elsewhere. So the uh, the end goal on this change is to reduce the code duplication, reduce the uh, number of places that we are doing very similar things in the user interface, but doing it very differently. Um, and uh, that will give us a more consistent user interface and generally make this a bit nicer to use and also give us a slightly more modern, um, use, uh, more modern UI. Uh, this does not currently have uh, where was the drag drop one? Uh, does not currently have drag and drop, but it would be relatively simple once we've implemented this to add drag and drop to this interface, which would again make it a bit more useful um, and a bit more usable and make our users happier, hopefully. Uh, and that's tiny MCE.